What is going on guys? Scares here. I mean Senna here and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about how to escape each rank in Valorant and what that specific rank struggles with the most. Right before we get into the video though guys as some of you may know my Twitch was suspended because it got hacked but I finally got access to my account and my Twitch is now unsuspended. And this leaves me in kind of an interesting spot because I really do like streaming on YouTube and I feel like the YouTube streams are more convenient for everybody. Everybody, but I feel like Twitch is a platform specifically made for streaming, so I'm kind of conflicted on which one I want to use. I think I'm going to try going live on Twitch and seeing how that stream does compared to YouTube, so if you have not already, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash SennaVL. I'm so happy to have my account back and I cannot wait to start streaming again for all of you. I also want to thank you all for 40,000 subscribers, that is absolutely insane and the growth on the channel has just been absolutely crazy. I know I thank you guys every single video, but I seriously just cannot thank you guys enough for helping making my dream a reality. Making these videos and talking to you guys is my passion, so I just cannot thank you guys enough for supporting me in making this dream a reality. Anyways guys, with all of that out of the way, if you do end up enjoying this video, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. In this video, I'm going to be going through each rank, iron to radiant, and talking about a few tips that can help you out in stuff that that rank particularly struggles with most. This video is kind of hard to make though because sometimes there's two ranks that struggle with similar things so I'm going to try to keep it so that each rank has the stuff that they struggle with the most. Starting off from the bottom of the list we have the first rank which is iron. If you are stuck in iron you more than likely don't have a grasp on the fundamentals of FPS games. I would recommend going in the range or in death matches and just practice taking fights and stopping then shooting. In Valorant you need to come to a full stop before you can shoot your gun for it to be accurate and this concept is very very important. Learning how to counter strafe is also super helpful for this and just learning the movement in Valorant in general. A lot of the people in Iron also lack basic decision making and a lot of the time stumble into kills rather than making good plays. If you're Iron I would recommend grinding death matches to get your aim as good as possible and just out aiming everyone to get out of that rank. The next rank I'm going to be talking about is Bronze. If you are stuck in Bronze, you more than likely understand the fundamentals of Valorant but just aren't able to put them into practice. I feel like Iron and Bronze are two pretty similar ranks and the people in Bronze lack a lot of the similar stuff that people in Iron do. I have similar tips for this rank which is work on your mechanics and your aim. I have a whole video on how to improve your crosshair placement and aim and basically what you're going to want to do is use the Prems method which which is a warm-up routine in the range. This helped me and a lot of my other friends improve and I will leave a link in the description to this video for you guys to watch. I wouldn't worry too much about game sense because trying to build game sense in these lobbies is kind of pointless because I don't really feel like anybody in those lobbies really know what they're doing so I would solely focus on improving your aim. I think aim is the biggest thing for these lower ranks. If you can out aim the people in these ranks you will rank up I promise. The next rank I'm going to be talking about is silver. I feel like silver is the rank that people start to understand how to put all of the concepts into practice in game. If you're stuck in silver, I think you need to start learning how to play off of your teammates better and how to work together with your team in general. I'd say that silver is the rank where people start getting a little bit smarter, so being able to play around that with your team is really important. I also think aim is another big thing, but that's going to be a big thing for every single rank. Your aim will always need to improve as the ranks go up. Learning how to do bait and switch setups with your team is really good for these lower ranks and also just learning how to communicate with your team in general. The next rank I'm going to be talking about is gold. If you're stuck in gold, your aim is decent and your game sense is decent as well. I feel like gold is a pretty average rank, kind of in the midway point between the rank disparity. I feel like in gold, you need to worry a little bit more about your positioning and how to position yourself in a good spot. Learning how to play off angles and how to lurk is going to be very beneficial in a rank like this. And similarly to silver, being able to communicate with your team and work with them is also going to be something that you need to learn in this area. I feel like silver and gold are the ranks where teamwork starts becoming the most valuable, so that's when you need to start learning how to play with your team. I feel like in iron and bronze, you could get away with a lot of solo plays, but once you start getting into silver and gold, those plays won't work. When I was gold, I had no idea about the concept of positioning, and I would always 
put myself in a bad spot. After I learned more about positioning and how to play off angles and play off of my teammates' contact, I improved way, way faster. I also haven't mentioned this yet, but the operator is also really easy to abuse in these lower ranks. A lot of people dry swing and don't use util in these ranks, so being able to op is really, really good. The next rank I want to talk about is platinum. If you're stuck in plat, you probably have pretty decent aim and game sense, but you need to learn how to improve that game sense based off of information. I think plat is the rank where you need to start worrying more about information and information that you might not know that you're getting. For example, if you're pushing mid on split and realize that the sage doesn't wall up immediately, this probably means that they're posted with an op there. Just little things like this that you can think about that could avoid unnecessary deaths. In plat, you should also start thinking about verticality and how to take the high ground in order to throw off enemy crosshair placement. If you're jet, making sure that you're updrafting on top of boxes to get the highest elevation is super important. And this doesn't only apply for plat. You can incorporate verticality at any rank and it'll still be useful. Don't forget that. The next rank that I want to talk about is diamond. Now, if you're diamond, I would say that you have pretty good aim and pretty good game sense. The thing that diamonds really lack though is how to appropriately use their util. A lot of the times players who are stuck in diamond don't really know how to use their agent's util to grant them the biggest advantage in a fight. This is especially true when someone's trying to clutch around and they have util but refuse to use it. I can't count the amount of times that I've seen Arena wide swing someone in a 1v1 when they still had two flashes in their inventory. You really need to think about your ability usage if you want to climb out of diamond. The next rank I'm going to be talking about is Immortal. I feel like if you're in Immortal, you pretty much for the most part know what you're doing. I've seen a lot of Immortal players that don't seem like they know what they're doing, but I'm just generally speaking here. If you want to get out of Immortal and push to Radiant, you need to learn how to have a good mindset and not tilt. And this goes for all ranks, not just Immortal. It's just that I've seen so many Immortal players that get tilted so easily. I feel like a lot of the people in Immortal are toxic and don't know how to have a good mindset, which is really holding them back. Similarly to Diamond, I also think that using your abilities accordingly in this rank is especially important as well. I would recommend maining two to three agents that you fully understand and have mastered. A lot a lot of immortal players are also overly aggressive, so you need to learn how to play back when that is necessary if you find yourself being too over aggressive and dying. The last rank that I want to talk about is Radiant. Now obviously I understand that Radiant is the highest rank and you can't go any higher than that, but if you are Radiant and you're trying to push to be a pro player, you need to learn how to get involved with scrims and play with a team. Ranked is really kind of pointless in the long run, and if you're trying to go pro, you need to get involved with a team. Learning how to run strats with five people and building team chemistry is something that you need to understand if you want to go pro. Getting your name out there is really important for this and I'd recommend playing in some smaller scrims and just trying to make connections. And I think that about does it for this video guys. In this video I talked about some general tips that can help you get out of every rank. I understand that a lot of these tips were very general but it's really difficult to make a video talking about every single aspect of a player. There is no one specific way to get out of every rank and you need to improve as a whole if you want to go up the ranks. You shouldn't really worry about rank though because you will never improve worrying about rank but you will always rank up worrying about improving. And those are some words of wisdom to you, my friend. Anyways, guys, I hope you all did enjoy this video and found it useful in one way or another. I have a community Discord server that you guys should join. Link will be in the description where you can go in there and ask questions if you have any. If you did end up enjoying this video, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash senaviel. Link is in the description and stay tuned for more streams. Thank you all for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.